guys and welcome to Titan Weekly. We're here to give you the most up-to-date information on all of our productions here at Titan TV, as well as the latest news, trends, and events. I'm Cassie Joe Fortin, filling in today for Hippa Berry. And I'm Alyssa Ruiz. We let you, our viewers, know what our shows have been up to. And if you'd like to watch the full episodes of the Titan TV productions mentioned, click on the link in the description box below. All right, Alyssa, so Valentine's Day is coming up. It is. Any plans? No, I'm going to be um, here in class during Valentine's Day. What about you? Well, I got some Valentine's plans, some Galentine's plans, okay. but you know the most important day is the day after because chocolate exactly. goes on sale. That's where I'm going to be getting all the chocolate. <laughs> Catch me right there with you. In other news, the robots are taking over. The latest episode of Tech On is all about automation. Auto what? I'll let them describe it. This seems more like a Black Mirror episode than it does a Tech On one. Can't we talk about something like virtual reality? Relax, it isn't all that bad. Automation is the use of computer software and machines or other technology that can carry out tasks that are otherwise done by human workers. Another official has left the White House. This news broke last week with OC News on the story. Another official is leaving President Trump's cabinet. White House Staff Secretary Ron Porter resigned today following allegations of abuse from two of his ex-wives. Responding to these claims, Reporter says these outrageous, quote, these outrageous allegations have simply are simply false. I have been transparent and truthful about these vile claims, but will not further engage publicly with a coordinated smear campaign, end quote. His last day at the White House has not been set. The Winter Olympics started last weekend in Pyeongchang, South Korea. The opening ceremony showed a surprising unity between North and South Korea, walking under one flag. And then this handsome Tongan athlete walked shirtless and oiled, despite the freezing cold. We appreciate you. Hopefully you didn't get sick. And history was made as 24-year-old Mirai Nagasu became the first American woman to land the, quote, high-risk triple axel during an Olympic competition, end quote. Think she did? That. The happiest place on earth just got more expensive. Disney has done it again by raising their prices. Walt Disney World and Disneyland ticket prices increased regular tickets to $117 for adults. Peak period tickets climbed to $135 and the cheapest ticket remains at $97. Thinking about getting a pass? <laughs> well, think again. The most expensive annual passport, which is the Signature Plus, is now $1,149. The cheapest passes that are limited on the number of days increase to $369. You hear that? That's my heart breaking slowly about these prices. The Obama's portrait was unveiled at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery Monday morning. The former president was painted by Ken D. Wiley, an artist from Brooklyn, and the former first lady was painted by Amy Sherald, a Baltimore-based artist. Both artists are the first African Americans to receive a presidential portrait commission from the museum. There were a lot of mixed reactions over the portraits. Some were excited for what this meant for future black artists, while others were confused on the choice of floral background for the former president. But it's always nice to have the Obamas back in the news. We miss you guys. Well, that's all for us here at Titan Weekly. I'm Alyssa Ruiz. And I'm Cassie Joe Fortin, filling in for Hibba Berry. Be sure to check out our other productions here at Titan TV and subscribe to us on YouTube. See you next week.